Kyle Seeger to lead off this ninth inning against Zach Roscup. Dodgers 12, Mariners 1. And Seeger takes a strike. It's played out perfectly to those run differential stories we're talking about, those narratives that have built the respective run differentials for these two teams. Dodgers, a lot of blowout wins. Mariners, a lot of tight wins. 11 1 in game one for the Dodgers. 12 1 here in game three, but sandwiched in the middle there is another extra innings win, another one run win for Seattle. And another one run loss for the Dodgers. Ross Cup sits Seeger down quickly. And it seems like. There's more and more smoke coming into the stadium and more of the haze from the fires. Yeah. You can really smell it now. We we're talking about how it was different. We're helping each infielders, helping the outfielders out. The ball's in the air, but it seems like over the course of this game, it's gotten worse. Brian Healy, strike one. 7 o'clock tomorrow night back at Dodgers Stadium opening a six game homestand. Cardinals for three off day Thursday Padres for three. And if you thought this road trip is quick. How about a two game trip to Texas following that homestand. Weird week. We'll travel Monday. They'll play Tuesday night and Wednesday night in Texas and then come home for a four game series with the Diamondbacks the next night. Back to back K's for Roscoe. And the Mariners down to their final out. Popped up right side and out of play strike one on Maven. The Rockies winning today as early on with that game on the East Coast. Diamondbacks and Padres have gone final. Diamondbacks win that one. So the Dodgers keeping pace. Three teams within two games at the top of the West Division. It is going to be some ride over the final month plus. Roscoff strikes out the side of the ninth to put the finishing touches on a dominant 12-1 win.